Okay, now we're going to, in this video, show you how you can very easily go and build a lead capture page, a standalone lead capture page, and get response and tie it into your list uh, directly right through your back office to get response. Uh, get response has many features and benefits depending upon the package that you own of uh, what you can do with get response. So once you're logged in, uh, where we're going to show you how to create a lead capture page is you click on this menu up here at the top and then just click on landing pages once you do that all you do is find this blue button that says create landing page so we're going to click on that and now you'll see that they have many many templates uh, just tons of them you also could build from scratch um, if you want to learn how to build your lead capture page completely from scratch or if you're good with uh, online editors you can easily build uh, any kind of any style lead capture page you want. Um, you can build a landing page for pretty much anything. So I'm just going to scroll down and you can see there's all these different templates. These templates are all basically easy to edit. Um, yes, it may take you a little bit to figure it out. It's, it's like any online editor, editor you've ever used or if you haven't used one. They're, all it takes is playing around, and if you don't like something after you've designed it, delete it and do it again until you are really good at it. This is just one of the options available to you for building lead capture pages. So when you're advertising for an offer, you literally can build a lead capture page on the fly. So play around with it. Get good at building lead capture pages. Now, we know how to build lead capture pages. We build lots of them through our own site. Like once, you know, that's one thing I'm not going to cover throughout this blog post is how to build lead capture pages or um, how to add forms in your blogs and websites because there's a million different builders out there you could be using and they all have um, instructions for adding and connecting get response to any of these builders. They all have a simple API in each builder, like uh, with eMoney Peeps, we're using Elementor. With some of our other blogs, we use Thrive Themes. Uh, there's many other free website builders. They all have integrations for Get Response. Every one of them do, where you can either use your form, form code or an API. And I will, hopefully, I'll remember to share the where to get the API from because it's simple. And every one of these, you can find instructions from the theme builders themselves of how to do that. Uh, you can add your code or box, a uh, subscription box on any page, or you can create a special page just for that. And then the API automatically connects it, and you do a couple of clicks, and bang, it's connected to the list. That's why we created the list first, because you always need the list created before you could connect any website or anything like that. But for this, affiliate marketers, anybody who wants to build a standalone page that's not on their website or blog, or maybe you don't even have one. Maybe you're just an affiliate marketer building out offers. That's where you get responses, comes in super handy to build out lead capture pages connected to your list so you can make a successful email marketing business by doing this. So get response. You don't need to go pay any other extra money anywhere else for a separate lead capture page. You're going to be able to tie it right into your list in your autoresponders right here at get response. And they have a million templates, like I said, and I'm just scrolling through showing you how many different templates you literally have access to here, which is a lot. So I'm just going to click on one of these. I'm going to click on this one right here because it has a simple opt-in form, which I love for affiliate marketing offers. I use nothing complicated when we build out affiliate marketing offers. We just build a straight up page like something like this. Or we do use get response and our other get response count where all our main um, list are. Um, so you can see this is very simple. All you got to do is name it. I'm just going to name it, which maps that test list I created with you in the last video when we created your first uh, campaign list. I'm going to use e money peeps online blog course. I'm just going to name it that. And then click on next step. And you're going to see it's going to load the editor. So now it's basically click, 
Like if I double click in this box, I can write whatever I want. Like get our our get our free paid course. Now I could take this and enter. changes font size so I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna change that font size there so I made the headline smaller because you're gonna to want to make sure that all this shows up well on mobile see there's a little mobile design and computer so you can click between them so I can go like create mobile version we need to compose the mobile version of your page and it isn't the preview you used previously you can now work on mobile specific okay let's go to mobile I'm gonna cancel that it's just so that you know you have the means to make mobile friendly as well and you make sure that it is but we're gonna just first finish this version here I'm not gonna take the time to go write all this stuff because this is just showing you an example you could change out this Im image very easily let's say you were giving away a free ebook on anything uh, or a specific uh, anything uh, you know discount coupon codes uh, affiliate offer this image can be easily changed it could be changed to an ebook it could be changed to a snapshot of the offer it could be changed to your business logo it can be changed to anything all you do is click on replace and what it'll do is pop up a box like this and then you would add files by again clicking on add files select them from your computer and then you would select an image once you have images in here okay that's how easy that is to do so I'm not gonna so everything in here is pretty much easily editable just by clicking on it dragging it moving it um, like this button here we could uh, click in this box double click I could type in anything it's free just to give you an example I can change the font size 39 40 back to 39 I could change the color um, but I'm not going to um, change the color everything like that like this is kind of upside down email name so we could switch this around like I could take this right now put it up here well, let me see if I move that closer to that one because you got hidden behind there but normally most forms have email and then name so they usually have no, oh, they got normally named first. Why am I going blank here on that? No, they, yeah. I did not need to switch the row. I'm sorry. My brain is having a, a moment. There we go. Anyway, I don't know why I thought that was backwards. But normally it is name email like that. So ignore what I just said. Uh, trying to do too many things at once today. Um, so everything like I was saying is easily editable you can move stuff around you can do whatever um, and then you have you got your mobile version your desktop version and so then um, we can go to next now it's telling us uh, continue with out mobile versions mobile versions for some of the page variants have been generated you may continue but recommend that you generate mobile version by switching to the mobile workspace for each of the listed variants so we could return to the editor so we could return and do it or proceed without mobile versions well for this I'm just going to proceed without it where you could return to the editor and check your mobile version but you can do that when you're in here messing around um, creating your lead capture pages so I'm just going to proceed without mobile versions to save time on this video and then this is bringing you to the landing page settings this is to connect basically um, as well that form where I accidentally was switching it the wrong way or name and email that's to connect it to that list we created so that automatically when people put their name and email in on that lead capture page their name and email will go into your autoresponder list your campaign list that we created in the previous video 
So what you want to do here is select the list as we have multiple lists back here. You probably don't like like we talked about. You've probably the first list you created was with us uh, in the last video. So you would select that list. It's probably the only one there. Uh, confirmed opt in, learn more. I don't mess with none of this stuff. Um, except this, I would turn off uh, confirmed opt in because we did single, so I would not do confirmed opt in. Add into the cycle on the day, so single opt in, turn that off. Uh, day of cycle, zero, first message, yep, because later in another video, we'll show you how to add a follow up message to your list campaign. And thank you, Paige. We want to set this to custom. Again, this is the page after your um after your subscribers put in their name and email address they will be brought directly to your custom mural and we're going to set that again here like we did when we set you up your list so again put the landing page that you want them to land on right after they opt in and we're going to of course put uh emoneypeeps.com get started uh because that's my custom thank you page or landing page custom just means whatever page you want so if you're promoting affiliate product this would be once they subscribe to get on your list this would be the affiliate product link or affiliate link of yours to that product or whatever you've created if you created something on your own and then you click on publish uh, basically there's nothing else left here to do you got your list selected and you got your custom your, your landing page all you do is click publish well done you can see your landing page at so now I'm going to click on this open it up in a new tab and there it is here's my landing page if I put it in a test email here so I'm just going to put test name as name so I know that it's me you want to uh, test your own I'm going to put now normally I don't do this till I have my first follow-up email in there and um, I will show you that. In fact, we'll do that on the next on the next video after we add the follow-up email. We won't do it in this video, but normally I would test it, but I always wait till I have a follow-up email in there so that I test the whole process and make sure I get that uh, follow-up email right away. And I'll, we'll, like I said, we'll explain that on another video. But if you ever need to go find this landing page, of course you can copy this and put it somewhere so you have it or you could go into get response you can go to uh, landing pages and when you click on it it will be populated right there if you ever need to edit it again or you want to play around because you find that your conversion hasn't been that good for the number of visitors you've been sending to it and you want to tweak something you can go back in here and you just click on these three dots and you click on edit page and you're off to the races editing it again and there's one more setting I wanted to show you in here. So I'm going to click on edit uh, page. Well, I'll just go to edit settings. Um, here where I left this here, use one of get response subdomains. Um, you can go through the, the of connecting your own domain. But I mean, if you're going to do that, you might as well just build it on your own domain through one of the methods I was talking about earlier. But otherwise, building standalone pages for offers, this is just fine. But you could switch it to any one of these um, here, like get response pages. Um, and it's just going to have a number for it, whatever one of these you like. You could switch it to that. Um, and then you would just come down here again um, and hit publish. And it would republish it, and this link would change then. See how this is from get response, and this is one of the links they give you for your, your lead capture page. So Either way, you can change what that kind of looks like. Subscribe now. And again, when you publish it, this link would change. But you can always find your landing pages. Like I said over here, just click on landing pages after you click on those dots. But now, so when someone land on your page and subscribe, they would click this button and they would go on your list after they put in their name and email. Um, they would go on your email list and get your first follow-up email after we show you how to do that we will show you in the next video one other thing I want to point out here real quick is normally unless it's a long sales page 
I normally always put my opt-in form above the fold okay so that's below the fold and I was just showing you really quick I wasn't taking time to design a, you know a complete page like you see even on our own uh, eMoney Peeps main page on our website we have it above the fold our first opt-in it doesn't mean we don't put it in other places on longer pages and stuff like that or sometimes we have it below the fold all depends on advertising but if you're running affiliate offers in most offers you will always put at least one instance of your lead capture form above the fold so it could be right here as an example this part could be down below instead in your form code here that makes it above the fold so that's seen instantly um, because it does raise conversions so I wanted to make sure and point that out to you but play around you can create all kinds of different lead capture pages connect them instantly to whatever list you set up and the two will talk to one another and your subscribers will go directly in that list and they will get your follow-up emails and the emails that you broadcast out to them and other than that my friends see you in the next video and we will show you how to uh, add your first follow-up email other than that, have a great day.